said he loves a cheerful giver. So you think he's just talking about money? God already let it be known. I don't need your money. So you got to be cheerful when you praise God and say thank you, Jesus. You got to be praying.
All the prophets is pretty rotten and corrupted. He didn't have too many people by his side. You see, Elijah isolated himself. He had some people with him. Jeremiah, it wasn't about isolation. There was just no good prophets left with him. So I just want us to prepare our hearts to be blessed and, and know that God is moving. Yeah. You'll see what you see for yourself. You don't really need my word. No. I just like to brag Come on, on substantial sources of God. Amen. And I'm telling you, you will not be displeased. But you're going to want to grow in your relationship with God. Amen. You're gonna wanna... God is going to bless you today. You got something for me today. I'm going to transition. <laughs> you got something for you today, woman of God. Some, some, some things are going to be solved for you today, woman of God. Some things that you've been dealing with for some time that you've been thinking to God, well, God, why won't this change, Lord? I believe in you, Jesus, but come on, I know you're my son. Have you been hearing me, Jesus? I've been crying out to you for some time, Lord. But God says today, woman of God, he's going to answer some questions for you. He's going to answer some questions for you, woman of God. Your pain will be no more. Come on, son. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Your pain will be no more, woman of God. Bring it home. He has directed your steps to a place beyond the dead end. He thought the role was done for, but he said, at this point in time in life, you have seen a solution. Today you'll see a solution, woman of God. That's God. Come on, that's God. So you walked in today kind of hopeless. But God is going to let you know that your hope was worth it. Don't give up now, because just when you thought it was over, Come on. a fresh anointing has come yes. to bring you a new hope a new way. and let you my know head, that your cries That's have your not head. been unheard. Your son, your son, your son. But he has been seeing you. He has been hearing you. He has heard your cries, woman of God. Solution, solution, solution. Solution, 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 woman of God. So you can cry, you can shout, and you can live again. Because God desires that you live. And he desires for your joy to flourish once again as it once did. But this time you will not lose it. Praise God, the one that God used to bring on this earth. But that's my mother in the spirit. See, she brought me into the earth and she introduced me to Christ. She, God used to bring me into the call I was running from. Amen. Quite confused about, didn't want to do what I wanted to do. Well, I wanted to do what I wanted to do, but didn't want to go. <laughs> Come on now. Thank you. Thank you. So, it is what it is. As, as a man of God, I understand you got to be wise. Because I could call my mother. <laughs> she <didn't> have him. <laughs> but no, all, all jokes aside, because the true mother spanks you when you need to spank her. That's right. They don't wait to tell you something. A true mother is a, a person you come around and you hoping that, man, I hope I got everything right. Yes. Yeah. Come on. I hope I'm doing what I'm supposed yeah. to be doing. Man. Yeah. God, I've been praying and fasting more. <laughs> come on. God, I've been reading more and studying more. Amen. I'm trying to make sure everything is right. Amen. But it's, it's, it's an honor. Amen. Some people I, I, I call fathers. I didn't feel that around. I should have known that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nonetheless, let me bring up our pastor, Dr. Wyatt Wallace. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God is real? Amen. Amen. Reeling my soul. Amen. My God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. His love for me 
is like your gold. My God is real, for I can feel it deep in my soul. How many of you know this morning that our God is real? <laughs> real in my soul. My God is real, for he has washed and made me whole. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father God. His love Thank for you, me Sing it. is like your gold. My God is real, for I can feel it deep in my soul. Will you tell your neighbor that oh, my God is real? He's real in my soul. That's awesome. He's real in my soul. My God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. His love for me. Is like my God. my God is real, for I can feel it deep in my soul. Hallelujah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. My God is real. Hallelujah, Lord, my soul. Praise God. My God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. Yes, Lord. His love for me is like your gold. My God is real. For I can feel in Lord in your soul this morning. Can you feel the real presence of God in your Can you feel God in your soul? Come The Bible said the whole duty of man is to praise God, is to live for the Lord. The whole duty of man is to serve God. In spirit and in truth, the whole duty of back and David came on the scene and said, Let everything that has breath let him praise God. Somebody is getting an elbow. She is touching their soul right now. A new day, Kabashata. My 
Somebody is going to wake up to a new purpose, a new hope, a new joy. I said, God said to tell somebody. God said, God said, go to I need you to go to your neighbor and tell them you when you wake up tomorrow you morning, you're going to be waking up to a new season, a new joy in your life. I said, walk to somebody and tell them. Go to somebody, get tell, encourage somebody, and let them know. It's going to be a new season in your life, beginning in the morning when you wake up. Receive it. Because God is going to prove himself real in your soul. You're going to have a new experience in your heart. You're going to have a new experience in your mind. Your thinking is going to be different. Oh my, my God. The thoughts in your mind is going to change. I guarantee you if I be a prophet of God. Amen. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to have an encounter in the spirit today. Amen. Whether I be right now, whether I be later on tonight, whether we go to bed, but you're going to have an encounter with God. Amen. The Lord said the spirit of God is saying to you that some somebody in the third row, the second row, ah, the fourth row, oh man say, you The Lord said today you are going to have a new encounter with him in your mind and in your heart. Say the Lord. It's time to experience God for yourself. It's time to stop moving off what people say, but what God is saying. It's time to move from what how I feel to how I know. Amen. It's what I know is not what I feel. Because everyone has to have an encounter with God for themselves. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. And God is saying to you and I, his word became flesh and dwell among man so that we can have an encounter with God for ourselves. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. It's not just angels, but I wanted to say to you that there are five of you going home and you are going to encounter there are an angel that's going home with you. Amen. I said there are five of you that will be going home with an angel today. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Are you hearing God? Amen. Do you believe it? Amen. Hallelujah. Expectation is breathing grounds for miracles. Hallelujah. If you expect nothing, yeah. nothing won't happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. If you think on the things of God, then something will happen for you. Amen. Are you hearing God? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Before I go for that, let me thank God because I have a sense my helper that's here. Thank you. My Jesus. helper is here. Amen. Amen. My helper is here. My helper is here. My helper is here. You don't got to say nothing, but my, I know my helper is here and he's speaking. Don't you know, everywhere Jesus went, something happened. Amen. Uh -huh. And everywhere you go, Jesus is in you, something going to happen. Amen. So I'm always in expectation for something to happen because God is with me. Amen. Whispered in my ears, and she said, That's a mini you. 
That's what Bernie said. Wow. That's she said, Mom, that's a mini you. Because everything you are saying to us, mm -hmm. he's saying the same thing. Glory. Thank God for those who emulate the gift. Are you with me? That's how you know your protégés. Amen. Amen. For they act like you, talk like you, walk like you. That's how Jesus knows those who are his. Because they act like him, they talk like him, they walk like him, they live like him. That's how you know who's with you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. What a feeling, God. Because here the Lord said, the king is in you. Amen. Come here. Yes. I don't know her, but I hear, I sat there and I hear God say, the Lord says, the king is in you. <laughs> I don't know what that means to you, but the Lord said, the king is in you. The king is in you. What does that mean to you? The king is in you. The king is in you. Yeah. And you are you are so encouraging. I said the king is in you. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is saying to me that you have so so much expectation for somebody else. And you have been speaking, you've been encouraging, you've been talking, you've been, you know, and you're like, God, do it, Lord, do it, say God, Lord, make it happen, God. And she kept saying, I know God's going to do it, I know. And she went home and she said, I know God, I know you're going to do it. I said, this back to I know God's going to do it. Give her the mic, give her Rapa seke la bosha la bosa kataraba raba na seke de me kosa. Is it not true, woman of God? Yes, that's true. Praise God. The Lord said to tell you that everything you ask him for and you're looking for to manifest, he said to tell you within the next 48 hours you're going to start seeing some manifestation. In your life and in the lives of those that you're expecting God to move for. Amen. Amazing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he said the king is in you. Whoa. The king. Stop doubting who you are now. Amen. Stop doubting who you are now. Tell her, stop doubting who you are. Stop doubting who you are, woman of God. But the king is in you. 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 My God. The Holy Spirit kept saying, to tell her the king is when the king is in you, you're confident. Praise God. Are you with me? When the king is in you, you know who you are. He said, when the king, because you're an intercessor. You have a gift. Miss Esther. Miss Esther, the king is in you. You have, an, you have a calling on your life, Miss Esther. And you kept going before the king. Amen. And the king says, I am in you and I will mash it. Robo manifest, says the king. Praise God. Waters. You are a woman of God, a spirit. 
Let it flow through you, daughter of God. Daughter of God, don't compromise it. Let it go. Let him flow through you. Let him take over. You quench the power of God long enough. The Lord will quench the power of God. Bring her up. You quench the power of God long enough. You quench the power of God long enough. You quench the power of God long enough. The Lord, you quench the power of God. Open your mouth. You need you have a voice that must be heard. You have a voice that must be heard. You have a voice. Let him flow to your belly. Let him flow to your belly. Let him flow to your spirit. Let him catch Yes, with confidence. The king is in you. My There it is. 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 Ruth. <laughs> Esther and Ruth. 
Esther and Ruth. Miss King, you're going to lay hands on Ruth, Esther. Hallelujah. Esther, lay hands on Ruth. Everything Ruth. Hallelujah. Desire. This Ruth, everything. Fire of God. The power. Receive the anointing that destroy you. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the glory. Receive your healing. Receive your blessings. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it today. The breakthrough has come. The day of deliverance has come. The day of blessings is here. My shepherd. That's God. All her desire for her is coming to pass no more no more no more Enough is enough in this day and age. Enough of the church. It's time to get enough of God. Enough of the church. Amen. It's now time to have every enough of God. More than enough of God. God wants to pour Himself in us. We're going in the church thinking that, oh, this is it. No, God, you are the temple of the living God. You are the church. Glory to God. You are the church. Glory to God. We give him praise. We give him glory. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. I'll be praising my 
himself to you, that he will show you his goodness in the land of the living this morning. I'm, I'm asking you to make way in you for the king. Make way in you for the spirit of God to flow through you. Make way in you. Glory to God. Some of us are clogged up by everything, by everything in the world, by every negative thought. Some of us are clogged up by anger, fear. Some of us are clogged up, my God, of, by, of worries. Some of us are clogged up, mighty God of Daniel, with all kind of an attitude all kind, that's why the lord says you must manifest the fruits of the spirit which is joy peace long suffering forbearance temperance when there's a prob trial that comes or a situation that rise or problems fill the ear you know that this is a part of my long suffering this is a part that i need to endure glory to God. We need to experience Jesus Christ for real. We need to experience the love of God for real. We need to and, and have him to come in. The spirit of the Lord says, let him in. He knocks at the door. He says, let him in. Glory to God. Let the king of glory come in. The, the word says, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. How will you overcome the works of the enemy? How will you overcome the wiles of the the devil how will you stand and having all done to stand still stand if you don't allow the king to come in glory to god i am telling you this morning the lord is saying let the king come in and have an experience with the king somebody say one night with the king one night is not enough for me i want to spend all my life with the king glory to god i want to spend my life with the king i want to know the king for myself i want to be 
be the king's king. Glory to God. I want to be the king's servant. I want to be the king's cup bearer. Glory to God. I want to know the king for myself. This morning the church is dead without the king. Without the king of glory. Lift up your hands, O oh, you gates, and be he lifted up. Ye everlasting doors. He gives you everlasting life. Let the king come in. He wants to fight your battles. He want to tell you, be still and know that I am God. Amen. If you don't have an unction to function, where is the king? If you don't have a, oh my God, a quickening in your mortal body, where is the king? Amen. When Jesus comes, something has changed. Amen. Some transformation takes place. Amen. You are not stagnant when the king comes in. This morning, I'm, I'm saying to the church, let the king comes in. He will solve the problems. Amen. He'll give you peace. <laughs> he gives you joy. Amen. He said, John said, if my joy remains, your joy is full. Amen. Are you with me? You want joy today, don't joy tomorrow because of, of, of life difficulties. Uh-uh. You will have him in whatever state you find yourself. He will still, you will still say, I've got the king. The king is with me, is in me. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. The things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of the glo his glory and grace. Amen. You must receive the grace of God for transformation, impartation. For glorification. The grace is imperative. Amen. The grace of God is important. We are too feeling. We need to understand. It's not about our emotions. It's about our spirit being enlightened. Be quickened. It's about our spirit man. Amen. It's imperative. This morning that we know, that we know, that we know an encounter with God is not just one time. It's not just a one shot speaking in tongues. It's an heavenly language. It's diverse tongues. Amen. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it's diverse. Diverse healings. It's diverse. It's not a one shot deal. Many and most of us, they come to the prophet one shot and they think it's done, it's over. Uh-uh. Mm. Then you got to come for your deliverance and stay for your breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Is it too many of us go for their deliverance, but they didn't stay? Mm. Glory to God. And the deliverance wears off because the enemy comes mm. uh -uh, for your deliverance. Oh. And he corrupt your mind. God. And he mess with your thoughts. Did you really say it? Did you get it? Did you experience it? The warfare in the mind, war begins in your mind first. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. The war comes to the mind. That's why the Bible said when God Jesus stepped out after he came to the earth, gee, God announced, let this mind be in you Amen. as it was in Christ Jesus. He spoke to his disciples. He said, you've got to think what I think, how I think, where I think, when I think. I see nothing impossible. Are you with me? I see I can do all things. Because it's not I that live, it's Christ that lives in me, with me, and for me. Are you with me, church? It's time to live the book. We must eat the whole scroll, as he said to Elijah. Eat the whole scroll. We eat a part of the book, the scroll, and what seemed to be bitter, we spit it out. But we need to swallow it because it's healing. It's your deliverance. So we don't take part of it and spit out part. The whole scroll must be eaten. The whole book must be must go down into your belly. Are you with me? Because we must live by the word. We must live by faith. We must live not by sight. We must live according to the principles of the kingdom of God. He said, I 
are going to prepare a place for you. That where I am, you will be there. How are you going to get there? You don't know where that is. But we believe his word. We believe the truth. We believe that he, the, 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 the Jews said he was, he, he, he was a great prophet. I believe he's my savior. I believe what he says, it's second step for me. If I believe that you are, then nobody can change my mind. Amen. No matter how the devil come to persecute you, I still know that you're a man of God. Amen. You're a woman of God. Amen. People are with you when you when you're up, but when you're down, the enemy attack you. They go and leave you. Amen. They used to believe in you, but now that some the enemy has attacked you, they don't believe in you no more. That's why you can't let man, you can't allow man to hype you up. You better live in God. Amen. You better let you better please God. Let God hype you. Yes. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. Because you people, the same people that said, lay your coat down. And Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, you are the king. Mm. Hosanna. 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 It's the same people. When 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 he was being uh uh um uh, uh, um when he was being before the court, they said, Give us Barabbas. The same people who cheered him on this morning, this evening when he was uh, to, when he was being tried, is the same people and that said, kill him. Don't look for people to help you. Look for God to bless Amen. you. Are you with me? Amen. It's not about people, it's about God. Amen. Oh Lord. Whom do I serve, God? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Who do I serve, God? Who do I please God? Oh. I can't please man because man cannot be pleased. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. The Bible said the arm of flesh will fail you. Amen. The arms of flesh will fail you. He said you dare not trust your own. Are you with me on this morning? Amen. Man will laugh and talk with you. Glory to God. And behind your back, Jamaican would say, them susu on you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. They will laugh and talk with you and behind your back, they talk about you. Amen. You got to know the spirit of God. You got to know what is the uzu and who is the right spirit. What is the right spirit? Because the enemy is attacking me, don't mean I don't got the right spirit. But Jesus said, uh, Peter, you guys got to pray. And while they were dead, they, 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 their flesh fails them. Jesus came and said, Peter, Peter, Peter. Why was he talking to Peter? Because Peter was the pastor. Are you with me? Because he knows upon the right, he's, he's that, that spirit that Peter has. Which is of God, he's gonna build a church on. Are you with me? Amen. And he said to him, Peter, I tell you, the devil desire to sift you as wheat. But know that I'm praying for you. If Jesus knows that the devil desire to sift you and your pastor as wheat, why don't you pray for him? Amen. Why don't you pray for her? Why don't you pray? And then he said, and when you have gone through that, turn around and strengthen their brothers. Amen. Amen. Because it's today for me and, to, and tomorrow for you. The devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. He come to, oh Lord God. He, he, the Bible said, he comes as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The kingdom of heaven is under attack. As a matter of fact, from the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of heaven is suffering violence. But where are the violent ones that need to take it back? force oh, and amen. stand as warriors and stand and say by God I live from God I move and in him I will die I will not watch what man may say or do and God said don't be afraid of him who can kill your body but be afraid of him who can kill your body and your soul and then send you into hell amen. are you hearing God amen. are you hearing God amen. it's time to live a spirit 
spiritual life. Yes, glory to God. Mm -mm. It's time to stop walking by your own uh, 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 your own feelings. Amen. Amen. And let the Spirit of God guide you. Romans 8, Paul says, you must walk after the Spirit, not after the flesh. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because there's a warfare walking after the flesh. And there's a war walking in the Spirit. But I'd rather walk in the Spirit and not after the flesh, because the flesh profits me nothing. Me but, the, but the Spirit gives me life. The more I go to warfare as a spiritual being, is the more life I receive. Amen. But the spirit, that but the flesh, when the war comes, it dies. Amen. But the spirit, when it goes to warfare, it rises up and lives and becomes greater. Amen. You don't want to go through the war. You, if you can't rise to be greater, if you don't go live by the spirit and go to warfare. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. It's a war. And the bruise of a soldier that caused him to be a soldier. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So we're in the world, but we're not up to I hear you, Holy Ghost. Walk according to the Spirit of God. Amen. We're a spirit living in a body. That's, That's why the Bible, do you understand? The Word of God says that you must understand this one thing. That your body, don't worry about what it eats or what it drinks. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the clothing of the body. He said, I work on that. You work out your own salvation you. by living according to the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. That's the book. Work, he said, worry about making sure your spirit is empowered. Your spirit is with God. Your spirit know the word. Your spirit live the word. Your spirit stand boldly. Your spirit stand strong. Because the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, it is the spirit of God, not your flesh. It is the spirit of God that's going to lift up a standard. Not your flesh, not your feelings. It is the spirit of God that's in you that's going to lift up a standard Glory. and cause you to be victorious. Amen. Amen. Not how they make you feel. Not how people make you feel. Not how people make you think. Not, not, not how people make you feel good. Don't pat me over my shoulder. It's not about me. It's the Spirit of God that lives in me. Amen. Amen. Don't pat me. Don't tell me your pastor you preach good. No. Don't do that. It belongs to God. Amen. It belongs to Jesus Christ. Amen. The author and the finisher of my faith. I don't know what I'm doing. He knows what he's doing. So I'm an available vessel. Meet it for the master's use. Because the Bible tells me in the book of Philippians, he said you have some vessels that are not worthy for him to use. Uh-oh. Because your are you're, you're vessels of, of what? Huh? A flag, your vessels of straws. Your vessels of what? See, you're not reading your word. You gotta read the word. Because you have different types of vessels. Which one are you? What vessel are you? Because God chooses a vessel. <laughs> not the one you give to him. Are you with me? The one he chose to take. That's why the Bible says no man can come to God except he choose the vessel. Amen. Uh -oh. Except he draws them to him. Oh my God. So the, in the book of Philippians, the Bible talks about vessels of honor, vessels of dishonor. Vessels of clay. Which one are you? Because some of us are clay, they're fleshy. Are you with me? Amen. But God wants to be the vessel that is honorable that he can use them. Amen. Are you hearing God? Amen. I don't know, know what I'm doing. He's just talking. Oh. He's just talking because he is here. Amen. The spirit of God is here. Amen. People like to say, oh, tomorrow, I'm not ready yet. I'm not this oh. yet. I'm not doing that yet. It's time to cut the foolishness out. Because when you die tomorrow, you can't tell him I 
while you wasn't ready because you can't tell death no. Not because death has not come to your house yet. But it's coming. Are you with me? Because it is an appointment till man wants to die. The Bible says when I knock at the door, open it. Because I'm coming in to give your life, life more in abundance. Amen. Because life is not living on earth. This is living, but life is in God. Amen. Amen. You think the Bible said, Paul said it best. Paul said, eating and drinking is not life, y'all. Mm -hmm. Eat, eating and drinking and celebrating. Solomon said, it's not life. It's live, life is living a spiritual, we walk in a spiritual walk, talking a spiritual talk, living by the spirit of God's word. That's life. When you count what you do as nothing. Because you don't have life. Only life is only in God. And God alone. Are you with me? Are you hearing God? And so, understand that man is nothing without God. Man is nothing without God. We are too carnally. The Bible says the three men, there's a war because your carnal man is war against your spirit man. Are you with me? Some people talk about, oh yeah, it's, it, yeah the, the, the three men, the mind, spirit, soul, and body. Yeah, of course. Your soul, your soul is your natural man. Are you with me? Your carnal man is operating under the 17 works of the flesh. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. When your soul die, you die. Amen. Hello? Amen. Ah. And so our spirit needs to go back to its maker. Amen. If the spirit is corrupt, the spirit, the spirit then goes down to hell. The spirit can't go to heaven. Uh-uh. Do you know why spirit walks around when they die outside of Christ and look for a body to possess? Because they are not in God. They didn't die in God. Uh-oh. I like Hollywood in this season. I had a vision about that years ago. But I understand what's going on. Is every movie that is that God used to I told you years ago that God says he's going to uh, witness himself because humans are too prideful. They don't want to tell the world about him. Yeah, you did say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Watch the kind of movies that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you look you gotta watch the movie. What do you watch? Bird Box. Yeah. It it you got to go into blindfold. Right. Because oh, the Bible yeah. said we walk by faith, not by what we see. Because what we see corrupts us. Mm -hmm. It destroys us. Yeah. Uh oh. But what we don't see, it takes us to the right path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the Bible said the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye. And the pride of life. Amen. Huh? Amen. Okay. And so it's imperative that people look at that movie and say, ah, oh, but I understand why. Yeah. Because the Bible says the natural man cannot understand the spiritual things of God because they're spiritually discerned. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hello? You're looking at a, at a near, you're looking at people. If you're not carefully discerning by the way of the spirit, oh God, I will never know who you are. Mm -hmm. But I, God said to me, if you want to know who they are, then you've got to be in me. Mm -hmm. That's why he said to, to the disciples, he said, you want to cast out demons like me, you want to lay hands and you want to do miracles and all that. He said, you got to get what I got. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? If you don't have what I have, you can't do what I do. Amen. Uh-oh. So you see, people think that live or, or church folks are are, 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 are folks that oh, yeah. they don't know God, but they say they know God because they speak in tongues. My God. The devils also speak in tongues. Are you with me? Amen. Don't forget the devil was in heaven. Mm -hmm. So he knows the whole the whole place. 
You know where the living room at. You know where the bathroom's at. He knows where the corridors. He knows where the streets at. He knows the bedrooms. He knows everything. So he's going to come pull out all the tricks in the bag. But if you know God, if you know who God is, I don't say you can't trick me. Because the Bible said even the very elect can be deceived. Can I talk to the church this morning? Amen. Even the very elect. So I don't say you can't trick me. Because I'm as an elect, you can you can get you, yeah, you, yeah. But we have to pray, God, fill us with the gifts. And the spirit, and your spirit, God, that you had Jesus when he was here on the earth. Let me be the Jesus in the earth as he was before. Amen. My temple is a temple of, of, for him to possess. Are you with me? Amen. This morning, family, I'm telling you this morning that it is imperative. Do not compromise the word of God Amen. for nobody. Amen. Not even for yourself. Amen. Because you don't, they don't have a hell to send in or a heaven. Amen. So you got to stand for God. And that he can stand for you. Amen. The Lord gave me, and I'm gonna, I, I didn't want to break it yet, but I'm going to give you a snap. I was talking to my pastor this morning. The Bible says that uh, 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 he honored his word above his what? Amen. His name. If God honor his word above his name, you it means you got to take him at his word because the word became flesh and dwell among man. Didn't have a name yet. Amen. It's Amen. him honoring the word. Cause his name to be honorable. Amen. Wow. Hello. So go home and go in your spirit and let the Lord I'll give it a rest in New York. But God honor his word. That's why he said, not one of my word will pass away. If one pass, then heaven and earth will pass. That's an oath. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said, take heed to my word. Mm -hmm. Live by my word. Not by the word of a man, but the word of God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. It's time that we get it together. And if God be God, serve him. Are you with me? Yeah. It's time to serve God. In the snow, God for real. Yeah. Everybody know of God, but you don't know him for real. Because you know him for real, you would not do certain things. That's true. You will do what pleases God. Amen. Where is your conviction? Are you gonna are you one of them that the Bible says Paul says you're you're you're, you're, you're smeared with hot iron? You have a hard heart? Can you won't stop? Can you think God is 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 to be mocked? Or joke with him? It's time to live a godly lifestyle. That's why you said we're in the world, but we're not of it. Amen. Words are different. I tell the young people in the church, I said, don't think you can flop here and date Dick, Mary, Tom, Jack, and Harry and still talk about your saying. Don't do it. I tell them, don't tell me about millennial children. What's the matter? You need to be a child of God. God. Amen. And then no millennial child Hallelujah. or children is a child of God. Hallelujah. I don't care what people say. God is, God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. I don't care what you're looking up in a dictionary. It is what the <laughs> word of God says. The dictionary talk about the children of today, the millennial children. No, no, no. Yes, you may say that because you're in, in your carnal state. But in your spiritual state, you're a child of God. Amen. Yeah. Time does not matter. Does time matter? To, to, does time matter? 
Are you with me on this morning? Amen. Get with God. And you will get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Are you with me on this morning? Amen. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. I'm done. That was free. <laughs> that was free. Give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him praise. You see, when your spirit is quickened, like John met on Elizabeth, woo, oh my God, you will have a quickening and an awakening in your spirit. Amen. You will not stop speak, speaking in tongues. Because it's a spirit that lives. Are you with me? Amen. God, Jesus. Bible says, reuse my Bible, please, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. God is real. Amen. He's not a fiction of your imagination. I said, God is real. God is real. He's yeah. not a fiction of your imagination. Amen. You, it's, it's difficult for men to wrap their natural mind around because they are born in, in this world. Amen. And they're so used to this life. But it's time to live a new life. Are you with me? Amen. Jeremiah chapter 17. We're talking about healing. This week was a week of what? Healing. healing. The power of healing. The power of healing. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. The wonderful possession... I have reserved for you will slip from your hands. Mm -hmm. Wait. Verse 4. Oh, really? Seven, three, four. The, the what? The wonderful position. The wonderful promises I have for you. God got something for you. God's got something for you. <laughs> Tell the neighbor, God got something for me. God got something for me. Oh, God. Watch this. God's got something for you. But what he has for you can slip out of his hands, of your hands. Because when he give it to you, you allow the carnal nature to take it out. Mm -hmm. Your earthly mindset. It don't. This is. Mm -mm, I just. Mm -mm, God with that. Mm -mm, not. Mm -mm, not. Mm -mm, I don't. Mm -mm. And that's what we do. What does it say? Read it again. The wonderful possession I have reserved for you uh -huh. will slip from your hands. Ooh, will slip from your hands. That's not cool. So God is saying you can get it and you cannot get it. I got it, but you can lose it. <laughs> you can lose it because of rebellion. You can lose what God has for you because of disobedience. Uh -oh. You can lose what God has for you because you've been passive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can lose what God has for you because you think you know it. You ever see some people, they know it, they think they know it all. Right. Huh? Amen. They so think they know it all, and they got it. Just like Samson, mm -hmm. think he knew it all, mm -hmm. had it all together. Mm -hmm. But what? It slipped mm -hmm. out of his hand. Mm -hmm. Do you know God got God? All the gifts and promises are yours, but you can it can slip out of your hand because of your foolish actions and ways and what you're saying out of your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know you can miss the greatest gift of all, and there's the gift of life, mm -hmm. when he said to you, I never knew you. It can slip out of your hands. And... You regret the moment because now you the scroll is gonna go past 
you and he said but I talked to you and you didn't do this and I sent the, the rope and you didn't hold on to it I sent the helicopter and you didn't take it Come you, you said it's not God you know when God comes to you, he, what he brought for you can slip out of your hands because of your own foolish ways? Do you know that? Do you know that? Because you still want to have your boyfriend and you still want to be, I uh, think that you're, you're a prophet. I'm a prophetess. It can slip because you think you're so gifted. It can slip out of your hands. Do you know that? It can slip out. Oh my God. Do you know the power of that God has for you can slip right through your hands like sands through the outer glass? You're holding the sand, but when you look, it's all gone. Slip right through your hands. Paul said it best. You were doing good. Running well. But oops. You didn't make it. You didn't win the race. Who hinders you? My God. What God has for you can slip out of your hands because you're leaning on your own understanding. You're not acknowledging God in all your ways. Do you know a lot of people uh, lose their healing? It slip right under their heads. They got it. Yeah. But it slip out. Yeah. Because they go back eating so God said, I heal you from diabetes. Stop eating all these starch. Mm. You lose it. You know that? Huh? God said, stop doing this. Stop doing that. No, no, no. You want to do what you want to do. Then you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. Do you know you can lose your, your salvation? Yes, you can. It's not one save, always save. It's not, certainly not. Ask Moses. Didn't make it in. His feet didn't make it in on his eyes. He saw it, but his feet never went in. Too many of us are walking to church and coming in but have not received the promise. Amen. Lose it. Because we want to do what we want to do. And it doesn't line up with the will and the purpose of God. Amen. What did he say? I will tell your enemies to take you captive, excuse me, to take you as captives to a foreign land, for my anger blazes like a fire that will burn forever. It is a dreadful thing to fall in the hands of an angry God. Animals listen to God, but humans don't. Ask me how. I'll describe Noah to you. <laughs> Noah was warning the people for over a hundred years. Nobody take heed to the words of the righteous man. What they did, they rebelled. And they poured in. They carrying on eating, marrying, and interchanging. Doing what they feel the flesh is out. <laughs> But God says, okay, call the animals. Mm -hmm. And the animals was very obedient. <laughs> and they did just as the word of God said. So God says, I'm going to send you two by two. Not, that's to humans, right? He said, I don't send you alone. I send you two by two. Is that what he says? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So don't go alone. Because mm -hmm. hmm? you, you need somebody to watch your back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, what did the animal, how did the animals come in? Two by two. Why are humanity so rebellious and the animals are so obedient? Hmm? Do you know an unsaved man would 
God would have more mercy on an unsaved man than the one that sit in the church and are rebellious? Huh? Do you know that? Because the unsaved man will say, God, I, I, I believe God. And he, in truth and in fact, in his heart, he really believed God. But the, but the saved, so-called saved person said, I accept Jesus as my Lord, and I'm a shaman, I'm a handy, I'm a mama. Sit there and is rebellious against the will of God. Do you know why Jesus said to the disciples when they were going on the road and the, the, the unsaved people, man, guys was witnessing and Peter wanted to say, but master, they, they, they're not even saved. What did Jesus say? Leave them alone. He said, leave them alone. That's what he says. You got to read your book. You got to eat the scroll. You know why I love the word? Many years ago, before I even became a pastor, Juanita Bynum stepped in my bed and stand up over me. I was in the middle. She, she, her feet was over me like that. And she pushed the entire Bible. The Bible. She held the Bible this way. And she pushed the Bible straight down my throat. She held the Bible and she said, eat it. And she pushed the entire Bible in my throat. And she left the room. I love the word of God. I realized then I have to eat the scroll. Amen. When the Holy Spirit said to me, you must drink the bitter cup, I understood it. So I know Christianity in life would be easy for me. Because the word will come bitter mm -hmm. to my belly. Mm -hmm. But I know it still works for me. Amen. So when I bet it's bitter or sweet, I take it. Because it doesn't come what, what, how, how I want it to come. It chastises me at times. Rebuke me at times. Are you with me? Amen. Weep me at times. Mm -hmm. but, it's, but I got to take it. Are you with me on this morning? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And so in time of spiritual, emotional, or physical pain, we can rely on healing words from God. You can't rely on man's word. When you have in pain, call on God. When you're having emotional distress, call on God. Oh, when you're spiritually in pain, call because the Bible says, Who can bear a wounded Amen. spirit? Amen. So you will be spiritually, oh my God, chastised. But you've got to call on God. Mm. Are you with me? Amen. That's not the time for you to say, I oh, don't know, I ain't going back to no church. Oh, I don't know, I don't like them fo church folks. Oh, I don't know, I don't know who he's preaching to. If you know, I tell my folks, they know me. I told them even yesterday we were out to dinner. I said, oops. I said, I, you see me in my jammies. Mm -hmm. Don't let it fool you. This is not what I said to them. I said, you see me at dinner, and I'm down, and I'm like, yeah, come on, girls, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let it fool you. Because in the same breath, I'm still your pastor. And I rebuke you right there. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So don't, don't, don't let it fool you. Are you with me? Amen. And I said to them, if I have to live it, you gotta live it. Amen. So we don't, we don't act like it out when we, when, uh, we don't act like we're not saved when we're out to dinner. You're still saved at dinner. Amen. Amen. And you're still saved when you're on the beach. <laughs> so you're gonna win, know what you're wearing even on the beach. Amen. Are you with me? Because we take off our Christianity, our walk with God, and the enemy comes in and spiritually spank you. And the Lord allow it to get you back in line. Get them up to Satan. 
Oh, you didn't understand. He said, I'll give you up to the devil for your soul's sake. Are you with me on this morning? Amen. So whether you're emotionally hurt, call on God. Amen. Whether you're physically hurt, call on God. The word of God comes to us as a two-edged sword. Healing is what? The children's bread. It brings comfort to us. Yes, to comfort us towards recovery. God don't want to leave you in pain. He is a God of restoration. Amen. He know this thing was going to happen, so he took it all on himself. And he said, by my stripes you are here. What do you say? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. He said, I was wounded for your transgression. I was bruised for your iniquity. The chastisement for you to have peace is upon me. And by my stripes, you are here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Stop taking God's word for granted. And leave the word of God. It is healthy for you to do so. Help me. Hello. All people, when people grow old in God, they don't look old. He beautified me with salvation. Amen. Salvation, deliverance, bring beauty. Amen. Hello? He beautifies the meek. So humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And let the power of God work in, work in you. Are you with me? God is, you're on your way to recovery. Tell your neighbor, I'm on my way to recovery. I'm on my way to recovery. Come on, church, I'm on my way to recovery. I'm on my way to recovery. Hallelujah. You know, I thank God for faith in action deliverance ministries. Hallelujah. I thank, I thank God for faith in action deliverance ministries. Hallelujah. Not that I, because I'm a pastor of, of faith in action. I'm only a walker in the church. Okay. But God called faith in action deliverance ministry, planted it himself, and he chose me as a worker in the church. And I thank God he chose me for that, for that work. He chose me for that church because he has a, a, a standard for that work. And I have to uphold the standard. Amen. That's right. I have to keep the standard of God, not my standard. God's Hallelujah. standard. That's right. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So we don't shut up and think it's okay. We don't do that. We don't have a penny, but we thank God because we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We don't have a job, but we know He's going to provide one. And thank God for faith in action, deliverance ministry. A place where everybody is somebody. Healing is yours, Lord. Deliverance is guaranteed. Glory to God. Hope is sure. Glory to God. Preparation is, 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 is evident. My God. Because we stand in assurance that the God of our grace never fails. Yes. I thank God that he keeps me in check. I thank God for faithfulness. The people of faith, don't, don't worry about them. They're good. They're good. Because they live for God. In God and with God. They know what it is to be intimate with God. So if you call them a fanatic, that's all right. They just love God. They're not offended. Are you with me? If you want to know where 3231 Stuben Avenue for sure, Bronx, New York, <laughs> 871 East, 2, East 2, 24th Street of the block, Bronx, New York, for sure. Oh, sure. Okay. 3620 Ashley Phosphate Road, oh, for sure. sure. Amen. Uh -huh. 80 Young Street, Spanish Town, Jamaica. Oh, Yo. For sure. For sure. <laughs> How you mean? Glory to God. Amen. Every faith in action you go, you'll hear the word of God. Amen. 
If you come for your healing, you go get it. For sure. If you come for your breakthrough, you go get it. For sure. If you come for healing, you go get it. Oh, and if you come for the spirit of God, you're going to get it. Oh, sure. For sure. <laughs> you heard? Thank you, Jesus. You Please. come for joy, you're going to get it. Yeah. And if you said, I need peace in my yeah. soul, and you walk in faith in that and global, yeah. for sure, oh, sure. you're going to get it. Are you with me? Amen. We have compiled scripture upon scriptures but when the time comes for us to stand on them we get and we we forget and so we fall under the pressure of the physical pains and the emotional distress today will you say no more no, no more. more you see i can't deal with one or two people who know it i'd, I'd like to deal with the crowd Amen. Not for the fish and bread, but for the word. Amen. For what Jesus has for them. Somebody said, no more. No, no more. more. Glory to God. No more. Jesus. There's strength in you. Amen. If you find that you can't say, yes, glory. Mm -hmm. You're weak in spirit. Amen. You need to be strong. Hallelujah. Amen. You're with me. Amen. Amen. Because the more confidence you are, the more, the more stronger you are inside. Amen. So if you feel weak inside, you weak in the spirit. Oh. Right. But if you're strong inside, you're strong in the spirit. Ah, somebody said glory. Glory. Yes, Holy Ghost. Woo. The word of God is true. Glory to God. The word of God is the solace in times of pain and sorrow. Can you say amen? amen. Mm -hmm. Life does not always give us what we expect. So our trust and confidence must be in God. Are you with me? Amen. Everyone knows what it is to be emotionally hurt. Amen. Amen. By your friends. Amen. By your family. Amen. By even your spouse. Amen. See, see I like the real paper. <laughs> but the Bible says we must be transparent. Amen. Hello. Amen. Paul says, listen, I don't have no secrets. Amen. I tell it all. If something is going on with me, you know who knows? My family. Amen. My friends. Amen. You know who knows? God. God. I say, Amen. God! Amen. In this season, in this time, I'm sorry for my enemies because I'm not sparing nobody. Oh. <laughs> Are you hearing me this morning? But God won't. He restores you. Yeah, uh -huh. Many and most knows what it feels like to live with a disorder of, uh, of illness. An illness or a chronic pain that seems like it will not go away. <laughs> really? Yes. Chronic. Yeah. It feels like God, when is this thing going to cut loose? God, when am I going to get rid of this thing? God, how long, how long, Lord, how long? Oh, how long, God? The pain, God, how long? God said today. When? Today. 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 Glory to God. Amen. The chronic, pain, heartache, struggle. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord said today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. It must go away. Today. 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 He come to set the captives free. Amen. Are you with me? Today. today. We all need healing in one way 
or another. Healing comes from God, not from man. You will receive right now, today, if you receive it. You will get it if you said, God, I receive it. Here am I. Thank you, Jesus. Right there, right now, you will receive it. You will receive it. The word of God is true. The word of God is true. It will not fail you. God's word cannot fail. He said, 